Okay, so here's the two module prototype for the Keep Talking. Uh, the game starts and um, it gives you the prompt for what the button is. So it should be a red button that says hold. Um, so we can pop this off and very professionally add a button in the right place. Like that. And just got stickers and stuff for now. Um, there's a placeholder. There we go, very professional. So you pop the button, registers that. If I pop in the right place. There we go. And then we set up the wires. So they're here. Okay, so nearly finished setting the wires up. There's only the three, so it's nice and easy. And as soon as it knows the right three wires are in place, then the game starts. So it gives you the serial number, the number of batteries. Um, we have the indicator lights that um, are used in these modules here. We've got the timer and the strikes there, um, and then the two modules kind of side by side here, essentially. Um, so let's troubleshoot shoot this one. So for the button, <clears throat> if it's red and hold with no batteries, um, it looks like, as I kind of cheat looking at it, if it's red and hold immediately and press and release, there we go. <clears throat> and for the wires, let's have a look, three wires. If there are no red wires, cut the second wire. So I'm going to do the wrong move first to see what happens. Cut the first wire. Okay, get a strike. I'm going to cut the next wrong wire as well to get two strikes. And you notice the time has increased in speed as well, and the two strike lights are going. So let's just pull that last wire. All goes green, flashes, and you've got your kind of summary screen. And then it will reset and it will go back to a new game. We've got different indicators lit up now, we've got a different button, uh, and we can go ahead and set this up for the next game.